All right, this is a 2014 Model S. I'm gonna show you how to take off the door card. First, I'd recommend using one of these little plastic tools to pry these pieces out. So this piece fits in right there and you just pry that right out. And then this piece fits right behind the door handle. So you pull the door handle out and then you pry right here. So you push the tool in there and it pops right out. If you use a metal tool, it will work fine, but you might mar up some of the surfaces. Uh, another thing you can do to prevent that is to put a little plastic tape. Painter's tape would probably be better um, on both of these surfaces. I'm about to take off the door handle and so I put tape on the surface of the door handle as well. The first screw that you'll find is a 10 millimeter that's down there behind the cover there. So I already loosened that one all the way. I'm just gonna leave it in place. And then the second two screws that you need to take out are gonna be two torques that are gonna be stacked on top of each other and you can actually pull the door handle to get to them. Uh, I believe they're T30 torques. So I took those off already. And now I'm just gonna pull the entire door card off. All right, it took a good bit of force, but I got it started. And I heard most of the clips break as they do. So a lot of these little clips have parts that you have to push on the back and it releases them. A lot of mine uh, were just already unplugged or maybe I don't have those features. Um, it also looks like the little sound deadening slash waterproofing has already fallen off of my door card. Uh, and I think some of the clips probably broke. I, I've taken apart the, the trunk plastics before and a lot of the clips there broke, I think just because it's really, really hot in Southern California and all the plastic tends to fail. So here's one of the clips that didn't break. You can see that it has both of the sides still. One of the clips that did break, it's broken on one side. So I would recommend getting replacement clips before you start doing this. To get to the door handle, you're gonna have four 10 millimeter nuts. There's one that's really easy right here. You just go straight in. Uh, again, you might have that weather stripping here. Uh, there's another 10 millimeter there, really easy to get to. There's another one around here that is very difficult to get to. And a fourth one that's about here that's kind of difficult to get to. I would recommend a low profile 10 millimeter uh, ratchet to get to this one here. You really gotta fit your hand all up in there and slide it over and then you can see the bolt through here. There it is, I already took it off, but that little thing back there, you can't even really see it. Um, and then the one that's in there, the nut's already off on that one, way back there. Um, you can just use like a wrench like this and it slides right over, but the one up here, uh, it has a little guard like this one does, a plastic guard around it so you can't even fit the wrench over. Just huge, huge pain in the ass. Anyway, once you get those nuts loose, you can shimmy it down. You have to sort of pull it out and across sort of. You can shimmy it down behind this window regulator and over here and you're gonna have to like you know, do some puzzle to rotate it around and wiggle it out and it'll come out eventually. Uh, there's only one plug that connects everything and it's right here. Um, you do have to pull a little tab. I don't know if I can get a shot of it. Um, but you have to pry that little tab up to unplug it. It's not too bad. Normally it's held in with a zip tie that I had to clip. Um, <clears throat> All right, and when you get it out, I'll show you what it looks like and show you the common issues. All right, here's the door handle. Uh, I don't completely know how it works. I'm not gonna pretend, but this is when the door handle is extended, retracted. Uh, this is the back of the door handle, of course. And there's a few limit switches that often have broken wires. So here's a limit switch here. And the idea is that this moves, that piece of metal moves and it detects uh, when two parts come in close contact. So this one looks good. These are the wires that often break. On this side, I've already mutilated it a little bit, but there's a, another limit switch 
This one doesn't have the little uh, metal rocker arm, um, but believe me, it's on the back side. There's just a little button. Uh, but this white wire was broken, and it was broken like flush. And so what I had to do is I had to cut back some of this rubber insulation to get the wire exposed, and I'm just going to solder that right back on and cover it up with hot snot. So I'll show you what that looks like. Oh, also there is a third limit switch right here in the bottom corner with equally weak wires. All of the wires to all of these limit switches are really weak, um, but hopefully it will delay this one from completely breaking for a while. All right, there's my solder joint. It isn't my most beautiful work. If you have uh, soldering flux, I would use a bunch of it. I did not, but I do have good solder. Um, and so I think these two parts are pretty well connected. So I'm just co gonna cover that in hot glue. So there it is covered in hot glue. I'm gonna wait for it to dry and give it another little coat. Um, this is sort of industrial hot glue. It's like Gorilla hot glue. So it's, it's better than using like the Kraft hot glue, but of course it's not perfect. However, I think these are like $300 new or maybe more. So, you know, that's a pretty good save, I think. So to put the door handle back in, uh, you know, you put it in, it's a little easier to get in than to get out. Shimmy it around, make sure you plug it in first. And then um, I slit, slipped it over the holes here and here. And you're gonna wanna actually align the door handle because you, that's something you have to do. So if it's just sitting there by itself, there's a huge gap up here and a little gap down here. So you can put like a couple of credit cards or something and wedge it. I don't know if I can show you that it moves around, but I promise it moves around. Couple, put a couple of credit cards or that plastic pry tool, put it in there and then tighten up the nuts. And then your door handles back in and you can reinstall your door card and everything is gonna work again. So if this video helped you, please leave a like down below uh, and subscribe for sure. That's definitely very helpful for me. Leave any questions you have or any uh, additions you would want to make uh, to this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.